Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you could tell from the title in today's video, we are in Malibu right now. And I am gonna be talking to you guys about my new Jungle on Wheels. A few months ago, I have moved full time into the van life world. And I am so excited to dive deep into this topic today and show you guys some things. And right here, I have my baby Prada. So if you hear him screaming, in the background, it's because he's just trying to join in the conversation. He loves to chat. So, without further ado, let's get started. So before we get started with the inside and all the little knickknacks involved in this motorhome, I'm going to start up here in the cabin and I'm going to show you guys some of the vintage features. So what we have here is a 1987 Ford Tioga. It is super vintage. Everything is original. And I really, really enjoyed that part of this van. This is a huge reason why I wanted this one is because sitting behind the wheel and really just driving on the California highways really makes you feel alive. Another huge reason why this was perfect for me was because there is only 52,000 miles and I really loved that because you know I did some research I called around a little bit and 53 52,000 miles on a Ford motorhome they told me that it's barely broken in and that this engine is gonna last me a very long time so when I heard that I was like sold you know absolutely sold so I think I covered everything involved up here this is like the old fashioned uh, knob to change the gears. So I really, really love everything. It's all uh, up here is the only part of this motorhome. Well, not the only part, but is one of the only parts of the motorhome that is original. Okay, now that we've seen the front cabin of my tiny jungle on wheels, I wanted to go into the very back and show you guys the very back guest room and how neat and interesting it is. One of the reasons why I fell in love with this motorhome to begin with is how many beds there were. I am able to host so many people, which is important to me because I love social gatherings. And it just makes me happy knowing that they have a place to be comfortable when somebody does spend the night with me or travel with me. So when you come into this room, you'll see that there is a twin bed over here and another twin bed right over here, followed by so much closet space. So everything in here, everything in this room is my closet closet, closet, everything. Right down here, you'll see that we have this right here. And this is actually storage underneath the entire bed, which leads to the outside. So this is where you can keep a bicycle and snowboards and skis and skateboards and scooters. Up here, we have poly um, I forgot. I always forget the exact name, but it's so beautiful because these are just going to grow, grow, grow and drape down. And it's just going to look so amazing. Again, this is my tiny jungle on wheels. So I am so excited for everything just to come together and for it to turn into a forest. And we cannot forget the skylight. So when you're sleeping, you can look up at the stars and here we are on the beach in Malibu. Everywhere around me is million dollar properties, but there we are. Here we are. Now that I showed you guys the very back guest room. So far we've seen the front cabin and now we've seen the very back guest room. Let's move into the kitchen. Let's check it out. Right over here we have two massive ferns that you can just get lost in. These ferns are only babies though and they are going to grow and just engulf this entire area. So it's really going to feel like you are in a jungle. Right here, we have a Dometic refrigerator. These are really expensive, so it's important to note that these are actually $1,500. This one is brand new, which was another 
huge selling point when I bought this motorhome. This is a brand new motorhome. Everything is icy cold inside and it works so so good. So it's like I'm not really missing out on anything to be honest compared to you know, a regular quote-unquote home, everything is still ultimately the same. Here we have our stovetop and oven. So right here we have a regular oven that you can use to cook brownies and whatever you can think of. Up here we have the four burner stove with this cute little cover. We went to the farmer's market today in Malibu, so we got some cherry tomatoes and a whole bunch of little fruits. I'm really excited about that. Over here, you can see we have Hydro Flask, a little Starbucks drink, and this is the kitchen sink. One of the more challenging parts in reference to, you know, living in a van um, is kind of keeping up with things like that because you do have to hook up to the water. Since this little guy just loves to yell, I'm going to hold him because he just really wants my attention. And who am I to deprive him from anything? So again, guys, it's me living in this tiny home with my fluffy puppy Prada. And if you are new to my channel, then I'm so glad you are finally getting to meet this amazing fluff ball. He seriously is amazing. He loves to swim in the ocean, run on the beach. He's a jack of all trades, my little puppy. So behind me, guys, we have the bathroom, a fully functional bathroom. But the only thing is, is I'm not really going to show you guys the bathroom right now because it is full of storage. There's so many public bathrooms everywhere around Malibu, everywhere around anywhere I'm staying. So I don't tend to use the bathroom inside of my motorhome that often because quite frankly, I don't have to. Um, and it's more convenient for me to not because I don't want to deal with septic tanks. I don't want to deal with any of that. So, you know, I shower on the beach showers. I shower at the gym. I shower in the ocean. I use the bathrooms at the beach. It's not that serious to me, you know? So that's kind of the deal with the bathroom. Everything you have in your bathroom, we have. So I'll go deeper into a little bathroom thing another time when it's not full of storage because we are off grid right now. So that's the deal with that. Right over here, we have the couch slash comfy, comfy, comfy bed. So this also doubles as a kitchen table if you set it up to be. I mean, originally it is a kitchen table, but I just feel like it's more useful to be this like cozy couch setup. It's a day bed. You could just sprawl out and be comfortable. I really enjoy it set up this way, but this is one of the main sleeping places. Up there, we have a memory foam bed and um, that's really cozy too. So that's a cozy, cozy, cozy little bed up there. And um, that's pretty much the most cozy bed in this entire motor home. Right up here, we have the air conditioner unit. We have a whole bunch of storage. That's where I keep books and extra snacks, things like that. We have a television. I don't really watch much tele television, but if you wanted to, it's there and it's available. So guys, that just about sums up my tiny jungle tour. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but I wanted to really get this out because I've been getting a lot of requests and I also just felt like it'd be kind of exciting. So it's it's important to note that I am nowhere done with this transformation. In fact, it's safe to say that this is just the beginning. I have a few trees going on, a few plants, but there is so many more plants to come. Everywhere where you see wood is going to be covered in plants and you'll find out what I mean by that very, very soon. So guys, thank you so much for watching my tiny jungle video and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Bye guys.